completely unrealistic. However, Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another workout challenge video. If you're new here, I do these kinds of videos every single month, mainly because at the beginning of 2021, I made a New Year's resolution for myself to try to, you know, get healthy, get fit, the usual, the thing that everybody does. <laughs> and most people are doing this starting from, you know, like ground zero from the bottom and that's what I'm doing. I thought that starting these challenges, doing different things every month would one, obviously get me active, keep me accountable and like keep me on my New Year's resolution, but two, help me discover things that I like, things that I don't like because I'm very new to this world. I don't know what I'm doing and I want to know what I do like working out. Do I like doing like lifting weights? Do I like Pilates? Do I like yoga? Like, I don't know. We're trying everything. We're trying different YouTubers workout videos. We're trying things that I used to do back in like high school. There will be a lot this year. So if you're new here and you want to like join me on this journey with all these different things that I'll be doing, things I'll be trying and give you guys all of my reviews before and afters, all that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe down below. You can also follow me on Instagram if you're not yet already because I usually try to check in with you guys in the mornings on like how my workouts are going or just keep you up to date more so because you guys only get these videos at the end of the challenges of course like once a month but on Instagram you'll get more like real-time updates and stuff like that so you guys can always follow me there now like I said I usually try to do a month-long challenge however in March I kind of split it up because I really wanted to try a youtubers like butt workout but I did not want to work out just my butt for an entire month so I did her workout for two weeks and then I took a week off of working out and then today's video is the last week of March and the ab workout that I tried from Lily Sabri I believe that's how you say her last Name. I've said this in every workout challenge video that I've done so far, so I'm gonna add it here as well. I decided to go on this like fitness journey for myself to feel good about myself and feel good about being in my body. With that being said, I'm not doing any of these challenges that I've done in the past and this one today to necessarily lose weight or get abs or anything like that. I'm just trying things to see what I like and what works well with my body and what makes me feel good. And so with that being said, I did not track any kind of my weight or inches or measurements or anything like that for the before and afters and then we can also so just take a look at some of my befores. But for me, this isn't about seeing a smaller number on the scale or a smaller number in my waist or literally anything else. It's just about feeling good in my body. And while I was doing this challenge, I didn't change anything about my lifestyle. There was no diet change. I wasn't doing any other workout. I just did this workout every day for one week. So let's see how it went. Good morning and welcome to day one of our week-long app challenge. We might be beat bopping from like the room here downstairs to the gym. Today I just didn't feel like going down to the gym so I moved my desk chair out into the hallway. We're just gonna do it right here on the carpet. We're just gonna dive right in. I have her video pulled up here. I'm just gonna watch it and do it along with her. I honestly have not watched the video yet so this will be very interesting to see if I can even do it. wasn't terrible. I gotta say, even though I don't look like it, I'd like to think that I do have really good core strength. And so like a lot of core exercises aren't necessarily hard, especially to hold for maybe like 30 seconds. The hard part is that she wants to do all of these like back to back to back, no breaks. And that's where it's like, I just need to breathe. <laughs> but I gotta say, I wasn't in the best mood before. And this was literally only seven minutes. Everybody has at least seven minutes in their day, just like I do. And yet I was still trying to make excuses as to why I shouldn't or won't or can't. And I finally was like, Marissa, it's seven minutes to just do it and I feel better like seven minutes of just working out makes you feel so much better at least it does for me and I feel good that it wasn't inherently hard like even sitting here I do feel not sore yet but you know I feel like I engaged my abs which is great like it was a challenging workout which I like it just wasn't too hard for me which I don't know we'll see as far as like what the results are in a week I've seen some videos of course that you know they get these amazing abs in a week and I'm always skeptical because it's like can you really do that in a week probably not but I guess we'll find out and I will catch you guys back for day two tomorrow 
Good morning and happy day two. I must say that if I like squeeze my abs, I can feel it. It's not like super sore, like I didn't have any trouble like getting out of bed. But I like when you can feel the burn like the day later or anything like that. It just makes me feel like I'm doing it well. I will say the one part of me that is sore are my like hips, my hip flexors. Doing the, these leg motions and stuff like got my hip flexors. and happy day three. I do not feel like going down to the gym today, so we're doing our workout right here. I gotta say that my hips are even more sore than they were yesterday. I don't know why, like I, I just, I stretch before yesterday, I don't know. I can still feel my abs definitely are getting-ish sore when I try to like use them, but again, I was fine getting out of bed. Like I haven't had that like absolute soreness yet on my abs, so we will see. I mean, this is only, I only did it for two days, so we're gonna keep doing this. Hoping you will figure it out. yesterday but it's like actually happening where every day it's gonna get harder because I'm more sore my abs were hurting while I was doing those especially again my hips like my upper abs when I'm doing those like really sit up ones like I'm glad I'm feeling it but my expectations were high on the first day because I did all of the exercises for the full time it was fine it was easy I said but then now I'm sore and it gets harder and harder so at least I'm sore <laughs>
to recap what y'all just saw the week flew by the first day was easy every day after that did get a little bit harder because I was just already sore for whatever reason my hip flexors were feeling it the most than like my abs overall I enjoyed the workout I don't think it was the hardest thing I've ever done granted it was only a seven minute workout and I know I already said this in one of the days of the videos but the thought of realistically getting abs in a week is just like non-existent I was aware of that going into this again I wasn't really looking to get abs I just kind of wanted to try the workout because of course myself included with a lot of other people we don't have a lot of time in the day when you see a seven minute ab workout you're like oh let's try this and there's other people that did reviews on this that were like oh my god I got abs in a week and I knew it was too good to be true but I still wanted to try it just to see how the workout went yes it was easy to complete it was only seven minutes long but I would have preferred even to just go for 15 minutes or a half hour and just go a little bit harder with like different kinds of workouts I would say out of all the things that I've done so far like I didn't really enjoy this one it just wasn't enough for me and maybe that's because I'm already like in my fitness journey a little bit so now I'm like oh, I want something harder but maybe if I would have tried this in January for longer than a week it would have been different who knows so let's just take a look at the afters about like every workout because it is true like this isn't necessarily a bad workout it's just kind of the way that it was low-key advertised on like her video and other people is like abs in a week completely unrealistic however the workout was fine like it was good I would add it to my pocket of ab workouts when I'm doing an ab circuit or whatever I would tack on other workouts it was fine it's just not gonna give you abs in a week I will tell you that but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys want to check out all of the other like workout challenges that I've done in the past you guys can check those out I'll link them down below for you guys I also look like this today because I just finished finished another day of you know this month's workout challenge that I'm doing so definitely subscribe if you haven't yet already if you guys want to keep up to date on like the new challenges that I'm doing how they are the before and afters all that good fun stuff and we're gonna end today's video with today's notable quotable which comes from Ipshita and theirs reads keep your face towards the sunshine and the shadows will fall behind you thank you for that notable quotable if you guys want to be the next notable quotable shout out all you have to do is leave me a comment down below of your favorite quote song lyric whatever motivates you inspires you keeps you going with hashtag notable quotable that way I can find it and I can shout you guys out at the end of my next vlog. I love you guys so much, more than you will ever know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!